I know why you're here. You want to be the most annoying person at the function by combining the world's most annoying instrument with the world's most annoying song. This is Better Off Alone on the ukulele. So what we have here is a standard tune ukulele with a high G. It doesn't matter if you have a baritone or a soprano or a tenor, uh, it'll sound similar. The melody will be recognizable no matter what kind of ukulele you're playing it on. There are four main parts to the song, so let's start with the main melody that everybody knows. First, the melody. everything. Now let's talk about the melody and the chords together. The melody lives within the chords. So let's talk about the first one. That B flat or B flat 7, depending on whether or not you leave the bottom string open, doesn't really matter. We're going to strum the chord and exemplify the melody. So here it is. We're going to strum. And then we're going to move to the next chord, which is our A minor. Difference is in that second chord, we use our pinky to exemplify the melody. So I'll play those two chords together again. And now the melody repeats, the only difference is we go to our third chord. So those are our last two chords. D minor, and this open C type of chord here. The melody is pretty much the same, only instead of starting on this, this position, we start here. So I'm going to play through all four of the chords. Hopefully we can kind of see the pattern here. So chord number one, B flat. And we repeat the melody, but we're starting on D minor. The difference is when we end the melody, we're starting on that first fret there. So I'm going to play through the whole thing twice now, really slowly. Hopefully you can see exactly what we're doing. Chord one. Chord two. Chord three. Chord four.
Now you have the tools to make any function all about you, alone or with friends. Remember to like and subscribe for more of these tutorials on ukulele and other instruments that um, just scream, pay attention to me. Let's move on to the verse. The chord progression does not change, but our embellishments do. So watch the chord shapes of my hand and try to follow along. Let's go back to chord one. We're doing our regular B flat, but our pinky is going to come on down to the third fret. It's the first part of our melody. Let's move on to the second chord. We immediately start with an A minor. But if we can, we're going to try and move our pinky down to that fifth fret of the A string. It's actually kind of okay to just play the bottom three if, you're, if your hands can't reach. But here's the second chord and the second part of the verse melody. Or if your hands can't reach that far, that three fret stretch, all we're gonna do is keep our pinky on the fifth fret of the A string, and then our ring finger to the third fret of the A string, and then our pointer finger to the first fret of the A string, and then, a chord everyone can play, just the open A string. So let me play those first two chords together again. Pinky on the third fret of the A string. Sorry. Now the second chord with our pinky on the fifth fret of the A string. If we can do that, we can do the rest of it. We're going to play our D minor, and again, our pinky's going to come back to the third fret of the A string, the bottom string. And then we have a chord everyone can play. Our pinky goes to the fifth fret, the A string, and we do the same 5-3-1 walk down. So now I'm going to play through all four of those chords together with the melody, and we're going to see if we can follow along. So remember, first chord, Pinky's going to want to be on that third fret of the A string as we do a regular uh, B flat. And here comes our next chord, A minor, with our pinky on the fifth fret doing the walk down. And now we're going to our third chord. Again, pinky goes back to the third fret. And now the easiest chord of them all. Everything's open except the bottom string. Our pinky goes back to that fifth fret. So here it is all together slowly. And that's our pattern for the verse. Now let's talk about the vocal melody for the chorus, the better off alone part. The chords do not change, so I'm going to play through it very slowly. And hopefully you can follow along and embellish that vocal melody. The last part is very straightforward. Again, the chords don't change. We're just embellishing the little uh, synth melody here in between choruses.
Now that we're well equipped to be the most annoying person at the party, this is about how well it'll go, ideally. sons. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe for more tutorials.